Earning a ride in a stakes race, let alone winning one, is an achievement for many jockeys. And Ruth Bradley is a name we'll see in the race book at Caulfield on Saturday. While a career in the saddle is a given for many, hers was most unpredictable. I uh, was actually working in a serviced office. I had nothing to do with horses and was offered a promotion and decided that that's not really what I wanted for the rest of my life. So um, I looked into what I did, found this strapper course at Mornington through TAFE and went from there and one thing led to another and I became a jockey. It's unusual to start that late. They, um, they thought that, they said, you know, being older, female and um, a bit heavy as well because I have a lot of weight problems. Um, they said, you know, it's going to be tough and they were right, it is. I love it. While she seemed to be achieving success in a more mainstream career, what was it like telling the family that she was going to change direction altogether? <laughs> um, very shocked. Um, I, my mum was with me actually when I decided to do it and I took it with me and we looked at all the careers that you could do within horses and I looked at jockey and she, and, uh, she said, oh you're not going to become a jockey are you? I said, oh, no, I'm too old. I wasn't. <laughs> On Saturday, Ruth will ride our obsession in the listed race for two-year-olds. It comes off an impressive trial here at Cranbourne. Dean Stable is track rider Simon. He does most of the work on the horse. I've only jumped on him for the trials. Had an official trial on Tuesday and he did really well. So we're hoping to, that he improves again race, come race day. Um, it's a very you know, a quick turnaround to a, a racing town, but I think he's got the ability to be there. Saturday's race is traditionally known as the Merson Cooper Stakes, but it has been renamed to honour Desiree Gill, a jockey who tragically died in a race fall recently in Queensland. We dedicate our lives to this. It's like, as I said, it's a lifestyle, and it's not just a job. And we are very passionate about what we do. And there's obviously the danger is a part of it. We accept that when we start. Um, and I did read the article uh, about the incident and Barry, her husband, and how he did say that she did prepare him for this, for what happens afterwards. And I think we all have to face that when we do start, that, you know, it can happen. But we would love what we do and we'd rather do that than anything else. So it's, it's a passion. We accept the dangers and get on with it. Get back on track, Victoria. The Spring Racing Carnival. It's time for some real entertainment. Visit springracingcarnival.com.au. You know you want to.